Hey, we have some amazing news. Let's go. Oh, we have a terrible Reggie Pizza Man! OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some amazing 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 nintendo switch news items but first give this video a huge thumbs up like 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 destroy that like button let's get right to the news big big leak has jumped on the internet. I would have talked about this yesterday for the Nintendo Direct Mini, which we'll talk about at the end of this video, but it looks like we will be getting a 3D Metroid game this holiday. And not one, not two, but three. It looks like we're gonna be getting a remastered Metroid Prime Trilogy on the switch which is dope prime series some of my favorite games of all time metroid prime is in my top five video games of all time i think or in top 10 at least in the top 10 because you got link to the fast you got mario 64 you got super mario world you got so you got some heavy super metroid and final fantasy those are my top five so but original final fantasy on the nes so <laughs> Metro Prime is probably number six, but here is the news. This is coming from GameSpot.com, and I'm going to share my thoughts. It says, Metroid Prime Remastered is reportedly only a few months away with remastered versions of the second and third games also planned. So, it looks like it's not going to be all in one they're going to be releasing each game separately. Why? Because Nintendo likes money. <laughs> so we're going to be charged probably 60 bucks. Now, if it's a remastered and they actually like upgrade the graphics, but even this game still stands the test of time, bro. It still looks good um, on the GameCube, but remastered. All right. This is what it's, they say. According to Jeff, Cru Jeff Grubb, um on at giant bomb nintendo's planning to release metroid prime remastered this holiday season so it isn't a trilogy it's just metroid prime just the one game coming this holiday season likely to match up with the 20th anniversary he almost he also said it's possible dual stick and gyro controls could be included bro every game on the switch needs to have gyro controls and the improvements will likely be greater in Metroid Prime than in 2 or 3. Alright. And so, it looks like we're going to be getting the Metroid, Metroid Prime, the first game remastered coming this holiday season. Which is dope. It's going to be probably upscaled to HD. Tweak a couple of things. The gameplay improvements would be dope. Of course, dual stick, gyro aiming would be fantastic. Now, my most anticipated game on the Switch, Metroid Prime 4, but this will tie this over until the game launches and it can get some of the fans up to speed on the Prime series, especially new, newer Metroid fans. So this is fire, this is dope, this is amazing. Speaking of amazing, Nintendo had the Nintendo Direct. The Nintendo Direct yesterday and it was dope. I gave it an eight out of 10. Some fantastic, fantastic announcements. This is a direct mini partner showcase, so just highlighting third party games, but boy, did we get some dope, dope, dope third party games. So these are the games that I think stole the show for me. Nier Automata, fantastic, fantastic game coming to the Switch uh, this holiday. I think they said, was it October? I forget when. 
I forget the dates, but this was coming. Oh yeah, October 6th, October 6th to be exact. And right around the corner, Monster Hunter Sunbreak DLC, which is also dope. And I think they I did see them sneak in. We're getting new gear too. Today, the 29th, I'm gonna download that gear. Makes you more powerful in the current game. So you could breeze through the current game and enjoy the new game. Also, live alive, they announced a surprise demo. And your progress from the demo transfers over to the main game. So I was playing the demo live on stream after the direct for you guys. Dope, dope, dope stuff. We got more. We got Sonic Frontiers actually running on the Switch. More combat. I am gonna pick this up day one. The game does look dope. An open world Sonic game. Now, the enemy designs leave something to be desired. I have to admit, I have to admit. But um, I like, they have almost a game within a game. These special worlds, that's dope. You go into like these portal zones and you're playing like a more traditional type Sonic game, um, which is dope, which is dope that that's included in the game. So. Sonic Frontiers was also a highlight and they ended the, the presentation with Persona and boy oh boy not only are we getting Persona 5 Royal we're getting Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 and so the switch went from begging for Persona games to an overflow and a flood of Persona games. This is what happens when your console is a blockbuster console. And not just that, but the software sells on the Switch. So dope, dope, dope stuff. But even though Persona was the last announcement, it wasn't my favorite announcement of the um, Direct. The best announcement to me was Mario Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. The game put a big smile on my face, especially how they're doing the combat in this game. It seems as if you're no longer in the open world and just getting to a zone and a big map, sort of like Fire Emblem moving across the grid. It looks like it's, look, he just touched the enemy and boom, it's sort of more of a condensed traditional RPG type battle. You still have the elements where you're hiding behind the walls, but it looks more turn-based. When they contacted the enemy and it went to this battle scene, it reminded me of Mario, uh, Super Mario and the Seven Stars on the Super Nintendo. That Super Mario RPG and the Seven Stars. So it looks like it's gonna be a hybrid between the first Mario Rabbits game and the more traditional uh, JRPG. Which looks fantastic, man. Uh, the first game was amazing. This game looks like it's also going to be amazing. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And so, the big news for this morning is Metroid Prime. Not a trilogy, just Metroid Prime will be coming to the Switch this holiday from credible sources. Sources long, long, long overdue and perfect timing uh, to whet our appetite for Metroid uh, Prime 4. So those are all of the news items for uh, this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Will you pick up a Prime game uh, if it comes out this holiday and at what price point? It depends what they actually, what kind of effort they actually put in the game. That would be this big selling point. Ain't no big selling point for me. Nintendo could charge me $100 for this game. I'll buy it. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip, and he has a really cool audience too, man. If you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them a lot.
a lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master, the right Jedi Master. Jedi Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man. homie. I'm dedicating a workout set to you, my boy. Let's go, guys. <laughs> 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said, hey, no, they 